And from is a Samsung Galaxy A40 and today I'll show you a couple more tweaks and tricks that you can do on your device. So starting off we'll begin with the quick open notification panel. So as an example if you pull down from the middle of the screen down you will get the up drawer and same thing goes the opposite way from bottom up. And if you want to open the notification you actually have to go all the way from the top. But there is actually a setting that you can change that you don't have to do it and it will basically pull it from here to open it. So to do it we will need to go into the home screen settings, pinch the screen and you get the home screen settings right here. Tap on it and then you should have a quick open notification panel right here. It's basically last thing visible. Now if you enable that and leave you can do this. You can pull the notification panel without actually reaching all the way to the top which in my opinion is really nice. And to open the up drawer you can just go from the bottom up and it still opens it. So moving on, we're gonna hide apps as well because it's in the same area. You can go back to the home screen settings and from here on the bottom you will see hide apps. And from here you can hide apps from home screen and the app drawer both at the same time. You can just select apps that you for instance want to hide and when you tap apply now the apps will disappear so previously there was a Facebook and it's also no longer visible here and uh, if you still want to access it but let's say not show it anywhere you can just search for it as you can see and it's still accessible through search but won't be visible in the app drawer by itself okay so Moving on, another thing that I want to show is the reduce animations. Now there's two ways you can enable it. There's the one that comes in the settings normally, invisible, and it is under advanced features. So it's right here. And from here you have the reduced animations and it will basically increase the speed of certain animations, how they, how they work and how quick they, they work. But you can also enable it differently and have a little bit more control over it through by going into the about phone and from here it is software information and tap seven times on the build number i think it is right yep until you see the message that you are now a developer and you have basically enabled developer options so if you go back now in the settings, you, that's on the bottom, you have developer, developer options, sorry. And right here you should find animation speed. Okay, and there's window animation scale, transition animation scale, animation duration scale. So right now it's set to one, which is Base, but I can basically either turn that off or have set a half speed for it so it should work as you can see way quicker than previous setting and uh, you can also turn it off like so and now you don't have any animations it just automatically pops in and out might look a little bit jarring so I'm not sure if that is the best option but it's here we can also set it to 10 times and you have this amazing slow motion basically <laughs> might not be the most time efficient one but it's there if you like i'm just gonna set it to half speed and uh, keep it like so okay so next thing that i'm gonna show you is the gesture navigations which there's a simple way to enable it which is pull down the notification panel twice and I think it's on the second page, you have it. Um, security, as you can see right here, navigation bar. Now it's set to basically be this. And if you tap on it, it will just disappear. And now we have the tiny little bars, if you can see them, they're barely visible. There's three of them like right on the bottom of the screen and each corresponds to the button that was previously there. And what you do is just pull it from there, like so. 
you can see it when it's being lifted barely on the camera here's the home screen or if you hold it it's actually the assistant so let's leave that okay i'm just gonna do this clear it all i'm gonna enable it back because for me it's easier just to tap the buttons when it's on the little stand and last thing that i wanted to show you is the app launcher which what it does is when you go it's right here it looks like this it can also be found uh, in the apps right here and when you go for it and you have actual games installed on the device you can uh, basically hide them in the game launcher itself so stop and start um you can add it we're gonna update it later and uh, as you can see that's basically when you first launch it hide games uh, on the home screen and app screen so if you tap this any games that were previously on your home screen and an app drawer will go into this application and that's where you will find them and where you will launch them from so you tap on it and then i would show if there was any games but there is none so if you go here they should be all visible now here once more th there is no games here so not the best way to show it and if you previously opened it and uh, skip this option you can always go to the settings and uh, choose right here flip it on and it will basically do the same thing so that's a fairly nifty thing it cleans up the home screen and the app drawer um, assuming you have some kind of games and that would be it now if you found this video helpful don't forget to hit like subscribe and thanks for watching